Welcome back. It's the grand finale of the Dance of Pain series, okay? The last lock of this series. It's gonna be very similar to the third lock, and I'll show you what the difference is, okay? All right, so in the last video, we were here. All right, and we're now going to transition to this with the right hand. This looks similar to the third lock, which was this with the left hand. This time it's with the right hand, right here. Okay, so let's look at the transition once again. Here to here. Okay, you'll notice it looks like a karate move or it can be single sinawali. Use your body and do not let any slack enter the ring and a uh, little finger. Keep it tight all the way through. Keep it tight. See, I can stop here and do the lock here. Keep it tight all the way through. To here. Keep it tight. And you have this. Okay. Don't let go or uh, let the grip lessen, uh, loosen, or anything like that. What you don't want to do is be goosey goosey here. Yeah. Just keep it tight, see? No slack, there's no slack here. You get to here, got it? Now you slide this hand down and you finish with the backward throw. Let's do that one more time. So we were here, no slack to here. Pull this back, see? Slide this, this down and you finish with the backward throw. That's it, that's the whole dance of pain routine, okay? Give me some feedback, subscribe to this channel, and we'll see you next week.